what he's doing in your life. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Glorify the name of the Lord in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and glorify the name of the Lord. For the Lord has been good. He has been good to us. The Lord has been faithful in every area. Begin to glorify the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, makataki and zokataria. Be narabos soki and narabasaki ya papa. E makoto koto bos soki ya papa. He wake you up this morning. And every truth that you needed to use to operate, that the Lord has granted it unto you. He gave you strength. He gave you energy. He gave you everything. He gave you life even to, so, so, to, to live. Begin to thank him. Begin to bless his name. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, makayanto kata papa. He ordered your steps into this space. Oh, yes, he preserved your life. He protected you when you wake up from bed. The Lord has been with you. He has not been denied from your blessings. The Lord has been so faithful unto you. Oh, glorify his name. Glorify his name for all that he has been doing in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you all the praise. We give you all the worship for the victory that you have given unto us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have received this victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you. We bless you. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, give a clap offering unto the Lord. And if you can shout unto him, for the great things that the Lord has done for us. Hallelujah. We want to pray for the service. We want to thank God for today's service, for his power to save us. Because he said, when you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. And we are going to call upon his name for the atmosphere that he has created, atmosphere of power that he has released. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord today in this service. And your miracle has been already been prepared for your own use today. Lift up your voice and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Begin to thank him for today's service. Thank him for the environment that he has created, the atmosphere that he has given unto us, the atmosphere of power that we have received. And know today we are not living here the same. As we begin to talk to him, we begin to call upon his name, you shall be saved. If you call upon his name, you shall be delivered. You shall be set free. Lift up your voice and begin to thank him. Begin to thank him for the service. Thank him for the opportunity even to come here. Oh, begin to thank him. Begin to thank him for what he's about to do. Thank him for what he has prepared for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are so many miracles that God has prepared for us today. Oh, yes, Lord. Healings that he has prepared for us. Breakthroughs that he has prepared for us. Oh, yes, Lord. He created this atmosphere so that you will be blessed. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him for the wonderful things that he's going to do in our lives. Begin to thank him, the power that he has released in this service. Oh, yes, Lord, to transform lives and to change lives. Begin to thank him and bless his name. Thank him and give him all the glory. Thank him and give him all the praise. Thank him and give him all the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, pakiyandorobos sakiyapatapa. Oh, nakiyantakiyandorobos sakiyapa. Oh, lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. Whatever you want, whatever you need uh, in this service, the Lord will grant it unto you. Oh, yes, Lord. Begin to thank him for what he, he, he will give unto you. Thank him for what he has prepared for you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, your miracle has already been prepared. Your healing has already been prepared. Oh, yes, Lord. Whatever you needed today, has already been prepared for you. Thank God for that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Also pray for special grace. Special grace upon the life of the prophet and be 
begin to pray for him. Pray for him that the prophet, oh yes, Lord, the unction of the Lord will be released upon his life. That God will use him mightily. Begin to pray for him. Oh, that the boss, papa, the grace of God will be upon him. The honorable carabo shake. The spirit of the Lord will be upon him. Begin to pray for him that God will put his words in his mouth to speak unto us, to bring deliverance unto us, to bring salvation unto us. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as he availed himself, oh, may the Lord use him. May the Lord use him today in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord use him today to touch life. May he use him today to transform life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, another clap offering and a shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, something wonderful will happen unto you. Something great is coming on your way. Hallelujah. I'll read from the book of John, chapter 19, verse 30. It says, So, when Jesus has received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And by bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. This declaration means that our healing, deliverance, prosperity, victory, joy, peace, and everything else that we needed in this life has been already been provided. In other words, your healing has been provided already. Your prosperity has already been provided for you. He said, it is finished. After doing everything, he gathered everything. He said, he, he took away our infirmities, our sicknesses and diseases, and bore them on the cross. So after doing all these things on the cross, he said, it is finished. Hallelujah. It is finished. So whatever you needed in this life, Christ has already paid for it. Christ has already provided. And it is yours for the taking. And we are going to take everything that Christ did for us. Everything that he provided for us. Today, we are going to take it. Last week, the prophet of God that said, we are receiving the anointing. We are going to enforce. So there are so many things that Christ has given unto us. And today, we are going to enforce them in our lives. Hallelujah. Either whether the devil likes it or not, it's yours for the taking. And you are going to take them by force. Hallelujah. And lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, yes, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to thank God for the finished work on the cross, for your healing, for your deliverance, for your salvation. Oh, yes, and even for your freedom, begin to thank God for this great work that Jesus did on the cross. Oh, yes, he went on the cross for our sake. Oh, yes, so that we might be delivered. We might be set free from the chains and the griefs of the wicked one. Oh, yes, Lord, he went on the cross. Oh, yes, Lord, the curses upon our life will be broken. Begin to pray. He did wonderful things so that we might be set free from the chains and the griefs of the wicked one. Oh, akarabo shekia so that we might be delivered from the works of the enemy, from the plans of the wicked one. This is what Christ did for us. This is what he did for us. And today we are claiming them. We are possessing them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
the finished work on the cross. Oh, Bakianda da pa pa pa. He bore our infirmities and sickness. Oh, yes, it's by his stripes you were healed. Oh, Bakianda da pa sakiapa. That is what Christ has given unto you. Begin to possess it. Begin to claim it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Bakianda da pa kada pa sukia pa pa pa. Eh, kado pa sukianda da pa. Ke pa kada pa sukia pa pa pa. Oh, kato kado pa 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 da pa. Shakia in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Um Sakia. Begin to process it. Begin to claim it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The promises of God are yea and amen. According to the word of God. Oh yes Lord. That you have been free from every addiction. Every deliverance is our portion. Delivered from the power of sin and evil. Oh yes Lord. He has already made, provided for us a financial breakthrough. He has given us hope. Oh yes for our loss. Our hurting family, friends, and overcoming every depression. Oh, yes, recovering our marriages. Oh, good health is God has given unto us. Being, being free from the power of the enemy. Being free from the fear and anxiety. Oh, yes, that's what he has given unto us. Oh, pakia norobo shakia pa. Oh, katapo sokia pa 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 pa. Arapo zokia da 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 da. The promises that God has given unto us. Tonight, uh, this afternoon, uh, begin to claim them. Uh, begin to claim them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Claim what Jesus has already given you and begin to possess it now. Begin to possess it now. Take it now. Take it now. It is yours. Take it now. Whatever blessing, whatever promises that God has given unto us. Take it now. Possess it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rise up and take what is rightfully yours. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It has already been given unto you. Karabos Shokia Papa, trust for the swiftness. He will give what belongs to you. God is always faithful, faithful about all his promises. And whatever he has promised, Shokia, it shall surely come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the word of God says, God has not failed one bit of all his promises concerning Israel. Oh, yeah, whatever he has spoken concerning your life, it will never fail. It will never fail. Begin to claim them. Begin to claim them. Every prophecy, every declaration that has been made in your life, oh, that you have not seen it yet. It has not come to pass yet. Oh, yes, Lord. It's an appointed time. Surely it will come to pass. Surely it shall be fulfilled. Begin to claim them. If it's about your healing, begin to claim them. If it's about your marriage, begin to claim them. If it's about your business, claim them now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord who promised, he will surely do it. He said he's not a man a son of man that he shall repent. Oh, yes, Lord. But whatever he has said, he will do it. He watches over his word and cause them to be performed. Whatever God has spoken, oh, yes, concerning you, concerning your family, concerning your children, it shall surely come to pass. Oh, yes, Lord. Begin to claim them. Begin to claim them. Begin to claim them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, begin to claim all the promises that God has made for you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Pakiyandorobo Shakaya. Bikatakiyandorobo Sakiya Baba. Harabo Shekiyan Baba. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Why don't you give you a clap and a shout unto Him? If you believe whatever God has planned for your life, Whatever good thing that God is prepared to give unto you today, give a shout, give a clap, give a shout, give a clap. The louder your shout, the bigger your miracle. The louder your clap, the greater your miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now lift up your voice and begin to thank God for what he has already done in your life. As you came here, you came here empty. But now God has started filling you. Begin to thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he's doing in your life and what he has prepared to do in your life. Give him the praise. Give him the glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We bless you. 
that you will do this for us because you have promised in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Come on, do it better unto the Lord. Our God is good. All the time. Our God is good. All the time. Oh, our God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. And all the time. Hallelujah. Has it been good to you? Ask somebody, has it been good to you? Hallelujah. And what's the response? Hallelujah. Is he awesome? Is he a good God? Come on, put your hands together once again. Give the Lord a shout of Hallelujah.
Oh 
possible. He will make it possible. Yes. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. You will add your voice and give the Lord a shout. What was impossible today shall be possible if you believe. you about anything that is seems not to be possible today from today I know and I know and I know that it's possible yes. hallelujah the devil cannot have his way he cannot have his way if you believe he scream and if you believe it scream it's possible Yeah. 
able. Tell somebody God is able. There is nothing that he cannot do apart from lying and failing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Be seated based on this. Our faith is based on what God can do. Our walk with him is based on what he can do. He said that if only you can believe, the only condition that keeps him from showing himself the able God is your own belief. He said, if only you can believe all things are possible. I hope you understand that. It's in the Bible. If only Jesus said to him, let's read a little bit and see the conversation that came. Then they brought him to him. And when they saw him, immediately the spirit, there's somebody who brought his son to uh, the disciple of Jesus. Uh, he brought and they tried and nothing was happening. So they brought that boy to Jesus. And when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So, he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from what? That's a disease, you were born with it. And when a situation stays with you for a very long time, he becomes your friend. You become accustomed to it and you adjust to it. And you don't have any energy to fight it back. You say, let me accept it the way it is. So, this situation is not just a recent pandemic or pandemic or whatever demic. It's not the recent COVID. This thing has been with them. And the doctors may say this is not curable. There are things they say they are curable. He said, this one is not curable. No wonder people were trying and doing everything to bring solution and there was no solution. <coughs> so, this disease has a history. And this a disease that has a history was brought to Jesus. And he asked the father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from what? From what? But I thank God for the faith of the father. When things happen from childhood and the person grows with it, you don't mind looking for solution again because thought, you know it's settled. But he heard about Jesus. Faith created in his heart. He brought it to Jesus' people and they couldn't. So he went to Jesus and he brought the child to Jesus. And something happened. And look at what happened. And often he has thrown him both into what? The fire and into what? The water to destroy him. 
So the purpose of that disease is to destroy the boy. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Destruction was his purpose. So he threw him down and disgraced him. And where he throws him is where there is fire. The medicals, the psychologists will begin to explain it. That it is fire that ignited or water that ignited. When he sees fire, something happens. So we give nice explanation why he should fall into fire. So they say, don't go close to fire. Don't go close to water. And these two things are very important in the life of man. Especially in those days. You need fire and water. They didn't have already cooked packaged food that you have to buy. Any food you eat, either <laughs> fire is involved or water is involved. So you cannot run away from the fire and the water in those days. And the thing that you basically and almost need is the one that caused trouble to you. So what do you do? Your existence, what makes you exist is the one when you get close, it kills you. So let me continue with what I'm saying. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But it, but if, but if what? He told Jesus, this is what happens. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. He saw God as the compassionate God. God is a compassionate God. When we don't feel for those people, he feel for them. So he knew who God was, that God is a compassionate God. So compassionate Jesus have what? Compassion on my son. He said, if only you can do something, let your compassion come. And I know my son will be well. And Jesus also said, if, <laughs> he used if, the condition that if Jesus has power and can do it, his compassion can reach out to him. So Jesus also said, the way my compassion works is that <laughs> if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes. Sometimes God becomes limited in power because of our faith. It is not that God cannot do it. The problem is that we cannot believe him. So if nothing happened, don't blame God. Blame yourself. Yeah, if only you can believe what? All things. 
possible. All things are possible. In another place, the angel says, all things are possible to them that believe. That any time you come to the position of faith, you place yourself at the position of possibility. So the devil have tried all his best. If he comes against you, he fights against your faith first. So Paul wrote to Timothy that he shall fight the good fight. There is a fight that is good. And there is a fight that is bad. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight what? The good fight of what? Faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Don't allow your eternal life to run away. Lay hold to your eternal life. You got this eternal life by believing. So if you allow any philosophy to torture your mind and make you disbelieve what you believed, you are releasing your eternal life. Don't let anybody deceive you about what you believe and you became a child of God. Don't even let the system make you disbelieve. So say, if there is God, why am I suffering? Your suffering does not mean that there is no God. If there is God, why is that me? When I do this, I don't get that. It does not mean there is no God. Sometimes when your faith is tried, if the devil comes, what he attack is your faith. From Genesis chapter 1, that's what he did. He attacked the faith of Eve and Adam. Faith, what is faith? It's what? Assurance of things, what? Hopeful and what? And how does that assurance come? How does faith come? By hearing and what? Hearing the word of God. So Adam and Eve heard the word of God that said that thou shalt not eat this fruit. Satan came to attack their faith because faith has come. That has God said The faith they received, he tried to rob them from that faith. God said, don't eat this. The day you eat it, you will die. And he came and said, has God said? Rather, if you eat, your eyes will open. You will not die. He negated the word of God that Adam and Eve, what God is saying is a lie. So God is a liar. 
he won't die. He's still lying to you that God is a liar. So if chose to believe the devil and she allowed life to leave her hands. But anytime you choose to believe the devil instead of God, you are allowing your miracles, whatever it is, to leave your hands. Faith will be tried. It will be tested. But don't let it go. What God has said is sure. And is yes and amen. I'm saying it to strengthen you. There are other things that will come against God's word. And you need to hold on to the word of God. Take hold of the word of faith. Oh, let's see. Fight the scripture. I haven't finished reading that scripture. The Timothy. Fight the what? The good fight.